morning guys. I'm um, just waking up right now. It's 3 p.m. My sleeping schedule is all messed up. I actually went to uh, Pittsburgh for the North Americans. I think it was two, three days ago. Today is Sunday, so I was there Friday. It's two days ago. I, was, um, I actually flew, flew out there just for the day because my boy Darren was competing. So I was out. Um, I flew in super late at night and then I had to wake up super early. So I slept for like four hours and I was up all day for the show. Damn, my dogs are bugging now because they want to go outside. But <clears throat> long story short, my uh, sleeping schedule is pretty messed up. And for the, for the past couple of weeks, I've been trying to put on size. So today I'm going to show you guys what I've been eating to do that. But let me check my weight right now. So let's get an idea on you know how much I'm weighing. Keep in mind, my stage weight was around 184. Whoa, 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 dude. My stage weight was around 184. So I'm at 201. So I'm just about 15 pounds over stage weight, which is pretty good. You know, I didn't want to get too blown up out of proportion where you know, if I were to do a show, I would have to, you know, suffer really bad. So I'm still moderately lean, nowhere near stage ready. So as you see with my face, a lot of people would say, oh man, are you bulking? Well, I mean, honestly, I look like, my, my mom just has chubbier cheeks. So just in general, if I increase in body fat, a lot goes to my face. But um, I don't think I ever showed you guys my kitchen. This is my new apartment. I obviously had to get a, uh, I love to be in the kitchen and I like to cook. So getting a nice kitchen was definitely one of the, main things I was looking for. But I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat for my first meal. All right, my first meal. Usually I would do four ounces of chicken and two whole legs, but I don't have any chicken right now, so I did seven ounces of egg whites. And 75 grams of uh, oats. With the oats, I measure it dry. So measure the oats first and then add the water and then cook it. So 75 grams of oats. I added two Splendos and I'm gonna be adding some cinnamon into the oats. And then I like to add some chili powder to my eggs. This makes it taste bomb as fuck. And then some garlic powder. And then just a little bit of salt. Salt in the oats too. And yeah, that's pretty much my breakfast. Two whole eggs, seven ounces of egg whites, some chili powder garlic powder and some salt and then 75 grams of oats with some cinnamon and two splendos and some salt on there as well. A lot more carbs than I would usually eat if I were to be, you know, getting close to a show. So just, this is the best time for me to utilize the food and try to put on some size. Um, I'm not eating in like a major, you know, surplus, but still a slight surplus just so then I can, you know, try to put on some weight before I compete again. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I eat later before I work out. And I'll just keep you guys updated with what I'm doing. I'm not really sure what I'll be training today, so I'm gonna figure that out and let you guys know. This will be my second meal of the day. I have um, six ounces of chicken breast and 160 grams of white rice. Look how nicely cooked that chicken breast is. But yeah, that's gonna be my second meal. Um, and then my next meal should be my pre-workout meal. Um, as far as, you know, if you guys are trying to match what I'm doing, uh, everybody has a different kind of body, you know, metabolism, so what I'm eating right now might not work for you, but um, I'm just trying to give you guys an idea on you know how the meals go as far as you know my day of eating, and um, it's pretty clean for the most part. I just try not to eat too much drunk food because when I do, I tend to you know start craving it more and more, and then it just becomes a bad habit. So right now I'm just eating really clean. I do have a show in mind towards the end of the year so um, just gonna try to stay as lean as I can possibly and train really heavy and hard so basically this is gonna be my second meal and then 
pre-workout meal will be my next one. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I eat on a day of you know lean bulking or you know just trying to put on size. But uh yeah. About to eat my third meal. It's not gonna be my pre-workout meal because I feel like I need a lot more food to train. I just feel a little bit kind of depleted, not as filled out. So I'm gonna have um, another meal before my pre-workout meal so that way I have more food so uh, I can util utilize it while I train. But here I have six ounces of shrimp and then 160 grams of white rice with a little bit of sriracha. It's gonna be my meal number three and then I'll have a pre-workout meal probably about two hours after this. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about training some arms or legs. So I'm gonna make that decision probably like an hour while I, you know, just chill out. Time to get this pre-workout meal in. Um, I've been eating this pre-workout meal for probably like three years now. You guys have been following me since my earlier videos. Um, you guys probably may know what meal this may be. Right here I have 60 grams of cream of rice, about 16, no, 60 grams of cream of rice, 16 grams of almond butter, and then two Splendas. Then my favorite protein, the chocolate brownie, the best protein. Do two scoops of this. And then a little bit of salt, I'll sprinkle some salt in there. There you have it, pre-workout meal, just mix it up and then enjoy it. Um, the reason why I like this meal a lot, it's one of my favorite pre-workout meals, is because uh, it sits really well with me and I can digest it really good. So when I work out, you know, I'm not really having any issues with bloating or anything. But obviously, I would have to wait, you know, 40 minutes before I go train. But um, yeah, usually it digests really good. That's another reason why, you know, I uh, have different kinds of uh, meat and stuff. Like I had shrimp earlier and then I had chicken just to see how my body is doing. And usually right now, um, usually shrimp's not in my diet, but I was just at um, Publix, which is a grocery store. And I just picked it up just because I was craving something different. But um, usually it sits really well with me. Um, my next, my post-workout meal, I'll be having tilapia. And it's really important to see what foods actually, you know, sit well with you because um, if it's just not digesting, then, you know, it's not going to be a good, it's not that good of a uh, source of food for you. You want to utilize something that, you know, you can digest and, you know, your body can go um, well with. So, cream of rice has always been a, uh, a good carb source for me to digest. Um, I never really uh, eat brown rice. A lot of people, you know, swear by brown rice and all that. I've always done brown, uh, white rice. And um, yeah, I've had bloating issues before, you know, eating like beef, like before I work out, I have like some lean ground beef with rice, which, you know, tastes amazing, but it would take like forever for me to digest that. And sometimes like when I work out after eating that, I just I just feel it still in my stomach, which you know I, it's not that comfortable to train. But pre-workout meal, and it's really late right now. It's already it's already 11 p.m. I'm about to take some pre-workout, train some uh, arms. I decided arms. I'm gonna do legs tomorrow. I feel like my arms are definitely a weak part in my uh, physique, so I just want to prioritize what I need to work on my arms and my chest mainly. But Right now, yeah, this morning I woke up at 2, 201. I'm probably around like 203, 204 right now, towards later in the day. And my goal for my next show, because my, my best showing at the Arnold, I was 184, 185-ish, like pretty carved up. So I would say my next show, I want to come in at like 190 to 192 carved up. So maybe four or five pounds. Hopefully, I feel like I definitely put on a little bit of size in this time frame. I've just been, you know, eating. I haven't really been pushing that many videos, as you can see. Moved into a different place. I've just been traveling a lot. So, um, I've been very, you know, 
just busy. So now that I'm not that busy, well, I mean, obviously I have the Olympia in two weeks. Really excited for that. It's gonna be my second time going to the Olympia. It sucks that I'm not competing, but I'll be there to, you know, watch a show and, you know, meet everybody that comes out there. But pre-workout meal and some arms. See you guys in the gym. Just gone, this place was home before you left. All my hopes, all my dreams, tried to move on, but I just couldn't feel my feet. Let her fly into the sky, the tears remain under my eyes. Haven't seen her since that day. If I could reach her now, this is what I. Would say wherever we go to, whatever we do, it's only me, it's only you. Wherever we go to, whatever we do, it's only me, it's only you, 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 it's only you.
workout meal in, I have six ounces of tilapia and 160 grams of white rice. Um, it's really late right now, it's 3.30 a.m. So I'm just gonna eat this meal. I actually have one more meal. It's gonna be two scoops of protein and uh, 16 grams of peanut butter. But I'm gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed that arm workout. Um, I'll be uploading another video hopefully in a few days of me training, you know, chest or something like that, something more exciting. But in this video, I just want to show you guys what I eat on a you know typical day of me trying to put on some muscle, whatever you guys want to call it, lean bulking or I'm not really in a crazy bulk right now. I'm just eating just slightly above maintenance. So um, just giving you guys an idea on you know what I eat. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just drop a comment below on what you guys would like to see. Let's end this video. Peace.